What up, y'all? I'm back with another one, baby. Not tonight. Just something simple. A little uh, mashed potatoes with Cajun style shrimp and a shrimp sauce. Well, not shrimp sauce, some butter sauce. With the obviously a steak on the side. You can't do that without a steak, steak and potato, baby. Yes. But I'm gonna uh, add some broccoli to the shrimp. We about to get it in, y'all. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get these potatoes cut up. I ain't gotta cut me that much up because it's just me. That's good. They're small potatoes. I have some left for tomorrow if they're not too good. <laughs> but you know, everything I do is good, baby. And with these, I don't mind just keeping the the skin on because the skin is so thin on these. I already got the pan plugged in or the pot plugged in. I just gotta put the water in it like an idiot. Yes, I forgot to put the damn water in. Around here, we don't have water faucets, so we got to use bottled water. Act like we living like kings and shit. And as y'all know, I like my jalitos. Holly, there we go, jalitos. Got the bean out today. Good job. Put a little bit of salt in here. Of course, it's that salt with garlic in it. These are gonna flavor the potatoes while they cook. Let me just keep going. Yeah, I know y'all see me I'm going to work. Like Gary Owens said, crack the pepper. Crack the pepper. Grind the pepper. I'm sorry, he said grind the pepper. But nah, I don't do that. But yeah. Oh man, today's been a fucked up day. First of all, I get to pick up my load, no problems, except for it took them four hours to load me. Start driving, I get to Los Banos because I have to come to Madera to fuel up. And right, maybe like five minutes, before, five miles before I'm supposed to get off the freeway, I blow a fucking airbag in my trailer. Whole trailer drops a little bit. I feel it. I'm like, oh no, that's not good. So I get out, fuel up like I'm supposed to. Walk around my trailer, and I see it's completely blown. My trailer, my airbag was blown to where it wasn't even attached. It was hanging by like a couple threads. And this is in my new trailer. So it kind of threw me for a loop. I get to where I'm at. Well, I finished fueling, call my company, let them know, back into a stall. Road service comes out, takes road service about two hours to get here. They come out and they don't have the the airbag I need. Oh, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Don't have the airbag I need. So what do I do? Or what do they do? I didn't do it. They did it. They do a patch job to get me to the next, to the nearest place that might have them, which is a TA or Petro. Closest one is, of course, 160 miles away. So I have to drive 660 miles on a patch job with a 42,000 pound load in my trailer. But you know what? I'm gonna do it. But they better not call me in the morning waking me up. Tell you that right now. I will cuss you out. Not you, Laura. 
or any of my dispatchers. My night dispatchers, I, I love y'all. Y'all good. But they know who I'm talking about. But yeah, this is the trucker's life, y'all. I'm telling y'all, if y'all really want to get into this, you need to talk to actual truck drivers. And there's a lot of good to truck driving, obviously. I love it. I got it <laughs> tatted. I'm in this for life. In it for life. I, I, this is what I love doing. But it's not for everybody, and I know that. If you're in a marriage or a relationship, you better talk to your wife and take her, and heed her warning. Talk. Make sure you conversate with her. Make sure she understands. Okay. This is what it is. It can get to this or it can get to this. And make sure she understands that you need her 100% of the way. That's where I messed up. I got too full of myself. Yeah, I was constantly working. My confidence started going up. But I worked so much, I forgot to take care of home. And I don't want you guys to make that mistake. But okay, let me put some of this butter in here. Cover it up and let it do what it do. I spent the weekend with my daughter. If y'all didn't see by the last video I posted of her running to me in the hallway, that was at the hotel. And that was just my way of letting y'all know, hey, trucker was signing out. I was supposed to be signing out for the weekend, but you see it's Sunday and I'm at work. That's another thing you got to realize with truck driving. You think you get weekends off? <laughs> weekends are when we, we sometimes are the most busiest. If you're not on a dedicated route, you're definitely going to be busy on the weekends. If you are on a dedicated route, depending on which one you're on. But y'all, I'll be back when this when the potatoes are done. It'll take about 30 minutes to an hour because this thing is not a stove. I don't have a stove. This don't heat up like a stove does. It does cook it, but it don't cook as fast. Oh, sorry. Y'all didn't see I have my pot right here. That's where all my stuff is at. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit more of this good old garlic. It's a garlic sea salt. That's all it is. It's just dehydrated uh, well, garlic powder and sea salt. That's it. There we go. That's going to help tenderize them potatoes a little faster. But all right, y'all. I'll be back in a minute. All right, y'all. I'm back. And now we're about to do... I got to go inside. I forgot to grab some damn milk. Actually, you know what? I do have some. I do have some. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got some whole milk right here. I forgot I bought that a little bit ago. Sorry, I've been going through some shit. I, I blew my airbag on my trailer. But I'm about to mash my mash up my potatoes. Get my steak going after I mash those up. And then I'm gonna get the shrimp going. <laughs> yeah, baby, we own it. See? We got this on my Cowboys Joe Boo chopping board sitting there stable. Yeah, that's for the steak. Then once the steak is done and it's resting, then I'll put the shrimp on. Yeah, I'm gonna cook the shrimp in the same sauce and juice that I cooked the steak in. Woo! Woo! Make my damn. Yeah, never mind. But this is the steak right here. Yeah, y'all. Ain't doing no ain't no wagyu tonight. They don't sell wagyu in California like they do in Oregon. But I'll holler at y'all in a minute. I gotta uh, mash up these potatoes. Only thing I did is put a little bit of butter. Add some Andre seasoning to it. 
Yeah. And then cook up the steak and then put the shrimp in the cook the shrimp in the same sauce I cooked the steak in. But I'll be back. Alright y'all. We'll be back. What we gonna do? We're gonna punch open this uh whole milk. A little bit of that in there, a little bit of this, just a little bit, you don't want to put too much, you don't want the garlic to overpower it, and then, where the hell did I put my, there it is, my Andre season, y'all know how this go. let me see, let's see, just a little bit of that. that right there you know what? I need more butter I need more butter I can already fill it truck, you gotta work a little harder for your mashed potatoes. This is a hard process, <laughs> trust me. And to be honest, usually when I do mashed potatoes, I usually buy them. But I wanted y'all to see the process. Because I ain't cutting it short. I want y'all to see everything. Because it's getting creamy. But. As y'all see, this whisk ain't withstanding shit. But it's, it's mashing up. I just got to work at it real heavy. It's delicious, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna get some stays on my shirt. You know what? Let me get rid of this whisk. Let me get rid of this whisk. I gotta do it with a fork. I can't do it with this. There we go. Shit. Sorry, my hands cramping up, see? what you got to do well you know what you're doing but you know what let me get this in here I'm going to put it in my 7 to 1 real quick so it can heat it up a little bit more this is the hard part of being in a truck y'all I need y'all to understand like <laughs> I ain't playing
This is not a joke. Not a joke. I'll be back when I get this heated up a little bit more. All right, y'all. Put it in, baking it, and start. There we go. I'll be back. All right, y'all. We back. Oh, shit. That was close. And what we're doing, we about to put the steak in the, in the butter. This is goodness. This is the steak I'm using. That way you can cook a little bit in that sauce. Yeah, my bag is down here. My trash bag is right there. Don't worry. But yeah. Grab the lid. Put it on there. Yeah, I lost a peg on my damn. So I got to kind of hold it a little bit. But I'll be back. Hey, y'all. As y'all know, I'm using my cousin's seasoning, that Andre seasoning. That ESseasoning.com. Y'all better check it out because I'm telling y'all. Order it. It's the best seasoning you will ever have. Especially like for steak, shrimp, stuff like that. I'm telling y'all, fam. If you support this channel, go check his you his uh website out. ESseasons.com. And I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. I love y'all. And I'll be all right, y'all. I put the shrimp in. Hold on, real quick. Put the shrimp in, and not the shrimp, the steak. I mean. And now it's time for me to put the shrimp or the steak in a pan and cook it up real nice like there we go I'm going to turn the mashed potatoes back there and I got to put the shrimp in the same juice that the shrimp cooked I mean the steak cooked in and I want the shrimp to cook a little bit more to get some of that season that flavor out of it so I de-veined, de-shelled all the shrimp. And I'm turning the shrimp on the out on the outside of the of the shells. But I need y'all to show me, hey, y'all like this? Cause y'all ain't been watching my videos. I see who watches and don't watch my videos. And I know most of y'all, hey, I know 90% of y'all, I cook better than that. Better than. But hey, don't forget, send me your questions about truck driving. I ain't been getting none. I've had two people ask me questions about truck driving. I need y'all to tell me what y'all want to know. There we go. Put the lid on. And let's see. Let these motherfuckers cook. <sighs> yes, I'm tired. Been gone for a lot of hours already. So now, move the mashed potatoes up here. And I gotta find my. There we go. I can do my mashed potatoes all the all the way around. The lamb plan. This is dinner, and possibly dinner for tomorrow. It's mashing up pretty decent. It's just whatever gets stuck in the whisk is what gets stuck in the whisk. My fingers are crapping up.
No, I was not expecting to use that to crispen up the outside of my steak. But hey, when it's a good quality steak, you gotta do what you gotta do. I ain't wasting it. Y'all hear me? There's gonna be some lumps in it, but I'm trying to, you know what, hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Use a new tool, which anything that touches it on the outside. Okay, this ain't doing what I wanted to do. No, it's not. This ain't doing what I wanted to do. So, I gotta go back to my whisk. I don't want to have to pour it into a blender to make it creamy and all that extra shit. Okay. I gotta take my stick out. Well, I ain't gotta take it out. I gotta flip it so it don't burn. Oh, okay. It's not that yet. As y'all see, this is what I go through, and this is why I let y'all see everything I do on my channel. Because it's not easy living in a truck and trying to cook like I do. Because as you see, they're coming, it's coming along, it's just a lot longer than living in your home. Andre, big cuz, this is what we do, this is my big cousin seasoning, and man, I'm telling y'all, if y'all purchase this seasoning, you will not be disappointed, I'm just one of the only ones that got a spicy version of this. mashed potatoes are almost done y'all it's gonna have some chunks in it of course because this is made in my what oh that's hot that's hot as fuck oh y'all this is fire though cuz no, I don't game bang. It's part of my lingo. caramelize the outside of that uh that steak and we'll do what we gotta do I know it's not as creamy as I'd like it but it is what it is I love y'all and thank y'all for the support
but I want y'all to see what I actually have to go through to make my meals the way I do. Your hands kind of get tired a little bit. Like I told you, you don't get a lot of the skin. The skin is not going to deter you at all. Because the skin the golden potatoes, man, this skin is fire because it's so thin. So it kind of just kind of meshes in with the meat of the potato. Y'all ready? We gonna come out with something right now, y'all. Be careful. Put this back here. We'll grab my shrimp. Put the lid over there. And I need to grab a fork. I'll be back when everything's ready to plate up. Hey y'all, I'm back and it's time to get this going. Y'all see me, I'm sorry, I forgot you guys were there. So let me grab another shrimp. There we go. Right there. I'll be right back, I gotta find my parmesan. Here we go, find my parmesan. Parmesan on top. There we go. And y'all, pour some of this. I gotta get some of this juice on top, y'all. Y'all, don't play with me.
steak. Nice and beautiful. Ooh, wee! Okay. Yeah, be right back. Alright, guys, yeah, it's time to cut this steak up. I'm gonna flip it around real quick because I like some fat in mine. Ooh, that's hot. There we go. Yeah, this is fire. This is what I'm doing tonight. I don't even need that. Look at this. Nice medium, nice medium steak. This is going inside to the truck stop. Let me see who wants to try it. Oh, y'all, look at this. This is what I'm doing tonight. This is a free plate for somebody. You see the steak on top? Nice, beautiful pink. And as you can see right here, it's got the shrimp inside with the mashed potatoes, the Parmesan cheese, the parsley, all that stuff, y'all. But y'all, let me try to find somebody that can try it, that is willing to taste it. And I'll be back. Turkey uh -huh. life. And watch this. And try his first taste. Those were the only other pieces up there? Is he? Okay, told you. I'm gonna have to try it. Hold on. And I wanna come back. You weren't expecting that out of a big rig, huh? What's in it? It is homemade mashed potatoes with the Cajun shrimp sauce. Uh huh. With Top quality steak on top. <laughs> this is what I make on my channel. I'm not a big meat eater, but I have to try it because it smells. I make this everything from scratch in my truck. In your truck? Yes, ma'am. Really? Yeah. Do you have like the little stoves and stuff in your truck? I have a smokeless grill. I have a seven in one, an air fryer, a griddle, and pots and pans that plug into my cigarette lighter. It's like nice and pinky. And it's like uh, it's the not, texture. It's not chewy, it's not mm. But that's why like where I wherever I go, I'll make a little bit more than I can eat. And I want people to try it out so that my YouTube channel can see it's, it's really not just look good, it tastes good as well. Good. Those are mashed potatoes from scratch. Hey, you're ready in the back. All good? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you just made my night. I'm just starting and you just like made my night. <laughs> hey, this is this is authentic. I don't know you guys. This is, this is it's really good. what I like to do. It is really good. Together? Thank oh, you, thank shrimp. you. I tried There's separate. shrimp in there too. She's taking in the vibes. <laughs> and you didn't even get a piece of shrimp. It's so perfect. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. I you hey, I just want you guys to try it out. You guys take it. All right. Say that. <laughs> you guys enjoy. I don't know who's on the more. Who's on the more? Hey, I just bring it in because, like I said, I have a YouTube channel about how I do this. And this video of what I did to this or for this is gonna be up on my YouTube channel. Oh, really? Yeah. What's the name of it? Trucker's Life 7 8. You guys, this is just at a random truck stop. I don't know these people. I just want them to try my food and show you guys that I do this. All right, put it right there. All right. Just try it, bro. 
<laughs> don't, hey, I, I'll tell you to be honest, I have a culinary degree. So everything, <laughs> like this is 100% from scratch in my truck. Oh, I feel you on that one. As soon as you said that, I was like, oh shit, he's like me. <laughs> but with this, it's, it, it's amazing. I make everything, like I said, I make everything from scratch in my truck. Hey. There's shrimp in there, as well as steak. I'm trying to piece of the steak. Okay, and the mashed potatoes from scratch as well. Not good? That's like from his truck, like he plugs it into the cigarette lighter to make that Yes, sir. Yeah. Right? That's right. That looked good. That's good. You a guy came with my YouTube channel? <laughs> what does the second part say? It says Trucker's Life. I like it. And then I put my football name, my football number behind it. That's it. Really? Yeah.